All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Look at this. Today I'm in the house with his Spider-Man pouch, which is holding inside a Tom Mayo Persian custom knife uh, that I've got here with me for a review and we're going to analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this bad boy. But don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Check out fablades.com and check out at fablades on Instagram if you are into knives or fidget toys. But let's go ahead, check this bad boy out. It's coming with a nice Spider-Man pouch, uh, which is Added uh, velcro, uh, nicely done, nice fabric. I like this theme, so that's pretty good. But nonetheless, we are here to talk about this fella right over there. This is the Hawaiian made uh, by Ton Mayo, the man himself, a Persian knife. Uh, this is a custom knife. It's a titanium frame lock. Um, it is made in Hawaii, of course, by Tom Mayo. It's not a cheap one, guys, uh, but uh, uh, lately the secondary prices have went down a little bit, so you might be able to snag this for like 1300 bucks, uh, something like in that ballpark. So this is a titanium frame lock, classic holes by Tom Mayo that you can find in the handle. I'm not really a fan of holes uh, in the handle and um, of simple clip that's uh, probably going to be my main uh, grips, um, nitpicks for this one. But beside that, this is a very well made knife, uh, I have to say. Nicely contoured uh, handle, rounded off on the edge, internal chamfering going on, there's no internal skeletonization uh, in this case, but you do get some nice and sinuous lines over here, nice uh, to allocate your fingers in a pretty cool way. So nice, uh, not Two pronounced finger grooves. This guy has no backspacer, just a couple of standoffs uh, screwed in from you know both sides, so that is a good thing. Um, but yeah, no uh, lanyard hole option uh, nor backspacer for this fella. Uh, the tip is absolutely safely recessed down, you cannot touch that, so that's pretty good to go. Uh, the overall look, of course, it's like a Persian kind of style. You see, this uh, uh, the heel of the handle is just like uh, sweet keeping down like to contain of course uh the blade that's sweeping up like that in the classic Persian style, and that's fine. Um, that's a Persian knife. So uh, you do have uh, a very simple construction also, like couple standoffs, T6 for the handle uh, handle screws, blind show side pivot, and T8 on the back. Uh, not protruding, not sticking out. It's very well concealed into the frame. That's pretty good. Um, you can also check my maintenance video about this fella because uh, it is running on IKBS and it's fun to put it back together so you can also see on the inside how it's uh, uh, working and what's going on under the hood. So uh, this guy is... Uh, um doesn't have any stainless steel lock face insert nor has a lock bar stabilizer so just be mindful of that. But I have to say there is really no lock stick in this case so that means that geometry is pretty well um, made. Um, you do have... Uh, a uh, an external uh, cat relief for the uh, d um, for the lock bar, as you can see right over here. Uh, you also see that uh, there is uh, uh, stainless steel ball bearing, maybe like from this angle, uh, right over there. There is no detent ball ramp, so you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit of a hard step going on right there, but not a biggie. It's pretty good. Um, so also you have uh, yeah this titanium uh, pocket clip, which is kind of like similar to the Sebenza uh, one. I mean, it works very well because in and out of the pocket like a breeze and uh, it's just like too simple for me. And like another thing that I'm not really a fan of is that this is just like screwed on top of that. So there's no pocket to have this thing like at the same level of the scale. So that's another probably small nitpick that I have uh, on uh, this uh, uh, Persian custom. Um, so that is of course not reversible, not uh, it's just not gonna be uh, tip down, you know, it's tip up carry only and only on this side uh, um, indeed. So uh, it's simple, effective, but not the best for me. I mean, design-wise. Functionality, yes, great. Uh, Persian-style blade. Would you look at that? Look at this hand rub. Crazy. There's no jimping going on, of course. You got a very large swedge and deep and reaching the tip of this blade. And then 
only belly, 100% belly up to the sharpening choil. You get Tom Mayo Huawei logo on the show side and CPM 154 steel on the back. Uh, something pretty cool to notice is that these lines are following like the sweep of the blade and these lines are also following the swedge and that is a pretty cool thing. So this is a real piercer, like this is a fine knife like to pierce a hundred percent. You do get uh, you do not get any chamfering on the flipper tab which is a little bit rounded off but not that much and also no jimping anywhere. Um, also, like uh, you see, the plunge grind is safely recessed to be able to see how thin behind the edge this guy is. And actually, let's just check the stock thickness. So the flats are very, very tiny. So we have to measure kind of like uh, here. And it's gonna be 0.157 inches. Let's check, let's actually see. Look at that, yeah, 0 0.022, uh, the, thin, the thickness behind the edge uh, for this blade. And uh, also what is very interesting about this one, yeah. You hear that? It's a very subdued, nicely contained and discreet and soft and mellow, very listenable and muffled sound. It is quite interesting because like from a knife uh, this big, you would expect something uh, yeah, a little bit louder, but it's it's all right. Also, let's check the weight uh, uh, of this fella because yeah, there's no internal skeletonization. There's two thick uh, slabs of titanium which are gonna contribute to get this guy up to 5.65 ounces. So not a super lightweight, but still it's pretty good in the hand. There's a little bit of a hot spot for me here. If I squeeze like uh, this, uh, yeah, this, angle. I mean, it's not sharp, but it's going to kind of dig into my index finger. But beside that, all the edges have been smoothened out, uh, rounded off, uh, and uh, it's pretty good to go. Also like large area to um, access the lock bar. Like see it milled in both uh, uh, direction. That's pretty easy to disengage. There's no jimping uh, anywhere. So it kind of feels a little bit, uh, not slippery, but not enough grip in this area, especially a little bit uh, smooth uh, surface for the handle. Um, there's, uh, I mean, these holes, they are going to contribute to add some grippiness because they create indentation. So you can just like grip to with it. And, um, and also like fit and finish is pretty spot on. I mean, blade is centered. Uh, the action is good. Uh, it's very simple, but there's nothing wrong uh, uh, with the uh, construction. Also, like the blade feels pretty solid in the hand. There's no lock rock, no finger uh, soreness because this is nicely rounded off. So it's gonna work like if you want to do a push button, but yeah, no, it's not the best. Like as you can see, the, the, the geometry is like made like for light switch action deployment like that. Not so much for like, you see, yeah, no, no, just, I mean, you kind of can, but no, don't. Um, also, like uh, you get this pretty cool action on IKBS uh, and uh, you see, it, there's no, I mean, there's like a free fall effect, but of course there's no guillotine effect. You gotta have to wiggle a tiny bit to get the blade closed uh, into the handle, but still pretty satisfactory action right there. Also detent is nicely dialed in really. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's satisfactory to deploy this guy. There's no detent ball ramp. There's also like a, a little bit of detent suction, kind of like a nice magnetic effect for these uh, uh, Persian custom knife. I mean, it's interesting. It's probably not for me because of the holes and uh, you know, a couple other nitpicks, but still it's a very good uh, option. I'm telling you. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.